Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0, and today is day 16. We continue the challenge today with a discussion of the final three Keller Williams created smart plans that you can use for your consumers. So we're going to dive into Smart Plans Applet, the fourth icon down here. And we've been spending some time talking about the opportunities that we have inside of the library to apply smart plans that Keller Williams has created for us. And there are 10 of those. So far, we have gone through the bi-weekly and monthly neighborhood nurture. Yesterday, we talked about the eight by eight midterm quarterly call, and we've gone through the long-term nurture as well. So right now, we're gonna talk about the birthday smart plan. Uh, first of all, the birthday smart plan, this may seem self-explanatory, but your contacts have to have a birthday assigned to them for this smart plan to actually work. So the steps of this smart plan, you can see them by clicking on view steps. This is one of two and two only smart plans that actually work backwards from a specific date set on the contact card. So once you set a contact's birthday on their contact card and apply this smart plan, it works backwards six days from that date and sends you a task six days ahead of time reminding you that their birthday is coming up and recommending that you send them a handwritten note. Next, it's gonna wait four days and then it's gonna send you a task reminder to call them. Now, I realize that that's a phone call the day before their birthday and yet when was the last time you had someone call you the day before their birthday? So the smart plan kind of helps you stand out a little bit and if you can't make a call that day, remind you to call them the next day for their actual birthday. From there, you've got a one day delay and then two final tasks. Uh, excuse me, two final touches. The first one is a task to make a social post for their birthday. And then assuming you have Twilio connected, the last one is a text message. Now I do have a recommendation on this smart plan. Once you have added it to your library, my recommendation is before you put anyone onto it, you come back to my smart plans, you find the smart plan and you click on the pencil to edit it and you scroll down to that last step, which is the SMS one. Now, if you just send a text, happy birthday, and it comes from your Twilio phone number, there's a very high likelihood that that contact will not know who that text message came from. So my recommendation is to come in and say, happy birthday. I would recommend using the contact first name merge field, and then you can put an exclamation point and hope you had an amazing day and then put your name right with Keller Williams something along these lines right happy birthday Marty from you know happy birthday Susan from Marty Miller at Keller Williams whatever something along those lines so they know that this text message is coming from you and not just happy birthday once you've made that edit you can save it and then start adding contacts to it so that's the birthday smart plan. Once again, remember, you do have to have a birthday associated with the contact record to add people to that smart plan. From there, we've also got the home anniversary smart plan. So this is also a data point that you have available in the contact record for clients that you have worked with purchasing a home. And that way, you know, the home anniversary, the date that they closed, you can add that to their contact record add them to this smart plan. This one's just a two-stepper. Uh, seven days before the home anniversary, you'll get a touch task to send them a gift or a card. It'll wait six days. On the day of their home anniversary, it'll send you a task to call them and wish them a happy home anniversary. So again, that is inside of an actual contact record. You're gonna have to go into the contact card itself and then look at the edit button and we're gonna go into add more information about, and this is where you would see the birthday and home anniversary. So as long as you have these added in, then you have the ability to add one or both of those smart plans. Final smart plan that we're gonna look, like, look at inside of the library from KWRI is the Promote My App smart plan. We're gonna to get to consumer later on in the 66 day challenge, and we'll talk about the fact that every agent has a branded consumer app that's an app that the consumer can download from the app store uh, using a branded link. And that way, me as an agent, I can actually have my clients using my app 
I can start to get insights about what they're looking, they can create collections, several other things happen in there. So this smart plan basically sends out branded links to your actual app via email and text message. And then it kind of follows up. So you're gonna get the branded link via email, then it's gonna wait a day, then it's gonna send a text message with the branded link and then wait three days and then send another one. Um, on this smart plan, when you download it, I would recommend just taking a look at that second text message uh, because it does say with blank team. If you are a solo agent, that won't make sense. It will not work. So you're gonna wanna come into this next message here, or excuse me, the first message, and it says, hey, this is agent first, last name with team name. Well, if you're not on a team, then this isn't gonna work. So my recommendation is that you just put with Keller Williams, or if you have a team with Summit Property Group at Keller Williams, All right? Just makes it easier. Um, and you can see then it gets that branded link. Uh, that is it for today, guys. Just the last three KWRI smart plans that are available just for your use for your consumers and your contacts. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to start diving into custom smart plans. So get prepared. Talk to you then.